What's going on today guys? Let's Ride USA here and we got a new video for you guys. This is going to be another new rider series video where today we're going to be talking about gear. So, you just picked up your new dirt bike. Right after you figured out which was the best bike for you after watching our what is the best beginner bike video, link will be down in the description to that. But anyway, you just picked up your fresh bike and now you're deciding what gear to get. So in this video, I'm going to be going over what I think is the best beginner gear setup or kind of what I did when I first started out riding, what kind of my setup was and kind of the order of importance that you guys should be going ahead and ordering your gear. Let's be honest, guys, dirt biking, whether you're doing trail riding, motocross, even, you know, riding ATVs is not a cheap hobby. It's very, very expensive. So that's why all the gear that I'm be using is pretty much uh, gear on a budget because when I started out, that's what I was on. I was a new rider on a budget and this is the gear that I kind of came up with or kind of collected over the years as um, I was new to riding and then eventually I moved up um, and got better gear as I went along. But this was kind of my setup so I want to kind of walk you through what I think is the most important order and also kind of what I did just to kind of give you guys a little bit of guidance. So without a doubt, the most important thing you guys need to pick up first is a helmet. This is the helmet that I bought first and honestly, I don't love it. It was okay for what it was. It was a cheap helmet, it was 120 bucks, but the foam on the inside of this thing, I don't know what it was, but just wore out so fast. And pretty soon I had to be wearing like a beanie underneath just so I could get it to fit right. Now this is a medium. I am a medium helmet size. The new helmet that I bought, not too recently, I've had it for a couple of years, is also a medium and it fits me great, which is the Fox V1 helmet. I picked this helmet up for about 170 bucks. Uh, and I wish I would have just bought this thing from the beginning instead of starting out with this. This is the Fly helmet. I forget what model it is, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, discontinued or at least out of date. They now have more updated versions of this helmet, so maybe they, they're better. Um, but I absolutely love this helmet, and this can even kind of be considered a budget helmet because it's it's under 200 bucks. Um, this helmet, like I said, it fits way better. It's way lighter than the Fly helmet. So in all honesty, I'm going to say that this is a great beginner helmet. The Fox V1, I know they're still making this. Um, I think it's kind of around the same price point still, um, but absolutely love this helmet. So first thing you guys should do is go pick up a good helmet. So right after you guys get a helmet, next thing you're going to need are some goggles. So these are by far probably my favorite pair of goggles. I've had a couple. I've had, I started out with a pair of actually Scott ski goggles when I first started out riding and those were okay. Uh, then I went out and bought these and now I'm on to the Oakley Proven MX goggles Which are pretty good. I like them for whatever reason. They're just a little bit too tight um, I really like the look of these but I love that these came with this sweet sweet mirrored lens and These goggles they're 100% strata goggles 35 bucks totally a great set of goggles because I know I went for a while riding without goggles uh, when I first started out riding and trust me, right after you guys get a helmet, you're going to want a pair of goggles so you might as well just pick it up all in the same purchase. Alright, so you guys picked up a new helmet which is the number one thing you got to do, keep yourself safe and then to go along with that, you picked up a fresh pair of goggles. Now after riding for a little bit, got some money saved up and you want to get some new gear. Well, you can go a couple different ways of what's the next gear purchase to make. What I'm going to say is you should go ahead and get yourself a set of gloves. I know when I started out riding, one of the first things I knew I needed was gloves. I started out riding with just like baseball gloves on and sure they worked fine, but I needed a good set of gloves because when I started out, I was doing mostly trail riding, so I was getting hit in the hands all the time with branches, roosts, thorns, stuff like that. And even just having your hands on the grips for too long really starts to hurt and you'll start to get rips in your hands. So definitely get a nice set of gloves. They're pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure I got these for probably 25 bucks, maybe less than that. Go on Amazon, go on Motorsport, go to your local dealership. You can absolutely get a solid set of gloves for under 30 bucks. Just as long as they offer any sort of protection, this is what I would say is going to be the third 
thing that I would purchase as a new rider is a set of gloves. All right, you got the basics down. Goggles, gloves, helmet. Now, what do you go next? This is not the order that I went. The order that I went is after I got this stuff, I went ahead and purchased a full set of gear, but I'm gonna say that's not the way to do it. After picking up that, go and get yourself a set of riding boots. A good set of riding boots are gonna offer a great level of protection, comfort, and also like, these are dirt bikes. You don't want to be getting your sneakers and stuff like that all muddy and messy. You want to have a nice pair of boots dedicated to riding that are going to keep you comfortable, but more importantly, are going to keep you safe. These were not much money at all. They're the O'Neill MX boots. I think that they were probably around 120, 140 bucks. Not sure if they still make these boots, um, but you can definitely get a nice set of boots for under 150 bucks. I know Thor still makes their boots for I think around a hundred bucks. So definitely go and invest in a solid pair of boots. These I really liked over the Thor ones because they offered a little bit more of like a sneaker type uh, bottom part. Like this is much more of like a sneaker whereas the Thor were pretty flat and also some of the fly beginner boots are pretty flat. Whereas these were actually really comfortable to walk in. So I would definitely recommend picking up a pair of boots kind of like these because they're gonna keep you safe, they're gonna keep you comfortable, and riding boots really are just essential. All right, and then finally, the last thing that I would say you guys can pick up is a full set of riding gear. Now the reason that I put this at the end and why I would recommend to get this last, um, and I didn't, I kind of, this was kind of one of the first things that I wanted just because I think it looked awesome, and you know, I just thought riding gear was cool. But that's kind of all that this is at this price point. So this total was probably around 80 to 90 bucks. And it really doesn't keep you any safer than let's say a pair of jeans and a long sleeve t-shirt. Because honestly, you can ride in that for a long time. This is just some cool colors because the shirt is really just a long sleeve t-shirt that's a little bit lighter. And these pants don't really have any sort of knee protection or anything like that. They're basically just, you know, they're just riding pants. They're, they offer no sort of safety or anything like that. And once you're getting into this sport, guys, the sport's dangerous and you need to be safe. And, and that's kind of how I structured this video was based on safety. Obviously, the helmets are the most important thing. And I also totally think that keeping, you know, your vision safe and, you know, when you're out there riding, your eyes are going to tear up if in the wind if you're not wearing goggles. So that's why I think goggles are a great thing. Gloves are really cheap, so just go ahead and get them. And then boots are equally almost as important. I'd say they're right under um, helmet in terms of keeping you safe because they're really a great, great investment. And that's why I would say go ahead Get that, that, and those first, and then go ahead and get yourself a full set of gear because, you know, it looks cool. And I definitely would recommend getting a full set of gear, but I would say wait on getting the pants jersey later on. All right, so now we got all the gear together of what I think is a great beginner rider setup, starting with the Fox Racing Helmet 170. Throw on a pair of goggles. These Strata's awesome. 35 bucks. Call these gloves 25. Set of gear, 60 for pants, 30 for a jersey, 120 for boots. And that means you're coming out with a total of $440 for what I think is a really great beginner rider setup. Now, you don't have to listen to my recommendation on what products to get because there are so many great products out there. I'm just more so focused on the order that you should get them and also kind of the price point you should be looking. So helmet, I would say start with any helmet under 200 bucks. 100 to 200 is really where you should be looking, more so 120 to 200 for a nice, you know, for a good helmet to start out with. Goggles, it really doesn't matter. You can get a solid pair of goggles for probably 15 bucks, but I just think those ones are sweet. Gloves, same thing. You can get a pair of cheap gloves off Amazon for even less, like 15 bucks. 
But where it's really going to be the most money is in the boots as well, right after the helmet. I think a good set of boots can go anywhere from 100 to 150 bucks when you're just starting out, which really isn't too much. And then the gear is kind of all variable. This is, like I said, more on the lower end. So you can get a probably decent beginner setup of just, you know, pant and jersey for anywhere between 50 to 90 bucks. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you're a new rider and trying to figure out what gear to get, what order to get it in, I hope this video provided a little bit of guidance on that subject. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and let us know if you got any other questions or any type of new rider videos that we can add to the series that may help you guys. I'm always open to suggestions. But with that being said, I'm gonna close out the video here. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.